In this tutorial, you will generate the drawing views of the model of the motor cover created in tutorial 2 of chapter 8. You will generate the front view, top view, align section views from the top view, detail view, and the isometric view. Make sure you must open the part file of motor cover before starting the drawing file. Next to start the drawing file select file from the menu bar. Next select new from the cascading menu. The new dialog box is displayed. Select drawing option from the list of types list box. Next choose the OK button. Select the A4 ISO option from the format drop down dialog box. If it is not selected, choose the OK button. A new file is started in the drafting workbench. Select Sheet 1 from the specification tree. And choose the Properties options from the contextual menu. The Properties dialog box is displayed. Select the third angle standard radio button. And choose the OK button. Next choose the front view button. From the projections toolbar, you are prompted to select a reference plane on a 3D geometry. Choose window tile vertically from the menu bar. Select the YZ plane from the specification tree of the part window. Next, click on the maximize button of the drafting file. The preview of the view is displayed on the drawing view. And the knob is also displayed on the top right of the drawing sheet. Press and hold the left mouse button down on the dotted green rectangular frame in which the preview of the front view is enclosed and drag the cursor close to the lower left corner of the drawing sheet. Maximize the drawing window. Fit the display area of the drawing sheet on the screen using the Fit All In tool. Click on the drawing sheet to generate the front view. The drawing sheet after generating the front view. Next choose the projection view button and move the cursor along the front view. The preview of the top view is attached to the cursor. Move the cursor close to the top left corner or the drawing sheet and click at this location to generate the top view. You will notice that an underline is displayed on the front view in the specification tree. This implies that the front view is the main view and the projected view will be generated using the front view as the parent view. Next, right-click on the front view from the specification tree. The contextual menu is displayed. Select Properties. The Properties dialog box is displayed. Select the Axis checkbox from the dress-up area. Next, choose the OK button. Now axis is displayed in the front view. To activate the top face do click on the frame. Now choose the top view from the specification tree. Right click and select properties. And select center line checkbox from the dress up area. And choose OK. Choose the align section view button from the sections toolbar. Next, you need to define the section plane by sketching the section lines. You need to make sure that the vertical line of the sketch is drawn first. Double click on the end point of the line drawn later to exit the line tool. The preview of the align section view is attached to the cursor. Note that in the preview, it may not look in align section view. Move the cursor to the right of the top view. Click on the drawing sheet to generate the align section view. At this location, the drawing sheet after generating the align section view is displayed. After generating the front, top, and align section views, you need to generate the detail view. From the top view using the detail view tool, you need to draw a circle on the top view to define the area that needs to be magnified in it. Draw the circle, move the cursor, the detail view is attached to the cursor. Click on the drawing sheet below the align section view to generate the detail view. Move the view to the appropriate place by dragging the frame. The drawing sheet after generating the detail view is displayed. 
The last view that you need to generate is the isometric view. This will be generated using the isometric view tool. Choose the isometric view button from the projections toolbar. Next you need to select a reference from the 3D geometry. To do so choose window tile vertically from the menu bar. Select any one of the default planes from the specification tree of the part file. Maximize the drawing file window. The preview of the isometric view with a knob is displayed on the drawing sheet. To see the clear view choose the fit all in button. Next magnify the view with the help of zoom and tool. Drag the preview of the isometric view close to the upper right corner of the drawing sheet by holding the view frame. Next select the all views from the specification tree. Right click on it. The contextual menu is displayed. Next select the properties. Next select the properties and unclear the display view frame from the properties dialog box. And choose OK. Use the fit all in and zoom and in zoom out tools to get the clear view. To dock the views toolbar double click on it. The final drawing sheet after generating all the drawing views is displayed.